when it says c squared minus 100, all right, writing as a factor, first of all, I told you guys, when we're factoring, when we're practicing our factoring, we need to write it as a product of its two factors. We also can write all quadratics as, now I'm going to a little bit, um, I'm going to change this to an x real quick. Just because all quadratics can be rewritten in this form. Where a is our number in front of x squared, and c is your constant. Well, we don't have a b. So let's write in a b. All right? Then do the same thing. a times c, 1 times negative 100 is negative, or negative 100 is negative 100, and then 0. What two numbers multiply to give you 100, negative 100, but add to give you 0? Those are going to be your two options. All right? And that's how you factor. The other way you guys could look at this is this is a difference of two squares. You guys remember we talked about difference of two squares? Is this term a square number? Yes. Is this term a square number? Yes. Is it a difference of my two square numbers? Yes. So we wrote down that formula, right, of x squared minus a squared is x, x plus a times x minus a. We walk, worked on that. Even if you're having trouble, ladies and gentlemen, just rewrite it in your trinomial form. Okay? All right.